Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to a brand new video. It is Wednesday, it's 4pm and time for a brand new I Rate Your Teams. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. I should probably address that I'm not very well at all, by the way, so if I don't bring the same level of energy as I usually do, I really do apologise. I'm just, I'm really not, not very well at all. Um, and this has taken up literally all my energy to record this, but... Jump straight into it. Now, before we get into it, uh, I just wanted to quickly go through a couple of predictions for Shapeshifters Team 2 that I've seen. This one coming from Pinky1337 on Reddit, who uh, posted this one, which I thought was really good. Uh, the ones that you can't see are a goalkeeper, Carl Walker, and uh, Aholu. I don't know who that is. Uh, but I like this one because, you know, seeing like a, a left-sided Pogba would be pretty funny. Um, striker Hazard would be a sick card. CDM Chiellini, right-wing Werner, Cam Bergwin, centre-back Fabinho. Uh, I thought this was a really good um, uh, prediction and a really good... Uh, it would have been like a fun team. Uh, so I wanted to just sort of uh, make, a, make a video showing off this one. And then I saw one from Danny Ahrens as well, who for some reason has changed his name to EA Sports FIFA on Twitter. No idea why. He confuses me a whole lot. But um, sort, sort of some of the same players, uh, you know, uh, goalkeeper Carl Walker. Um, but, you know, one that I thought was great was centre-back Alaba. I'd love to see a CDM Alaba, though. Centre-mid uh, Manuel Neuer. Uh, Left-back Gareth Bale. As you guys know, I'm signing with Bale's eSports team. Me and Bale are homies, all right? Um, <laughs> uh, Lozano, uh, Alexander Arnold's a centre mid. There's a lot of really, really good suggestions here, and I'm looking forward to Team 2. I really hope EA bring out some cool cards. So I just wanted to quickly showcase those beforehand, um, and let's jump straight into it. So we're starting off with KJD's team, uh, who says, I've got 30,000 coins, and this is the team I'm looking to build. The tradables are Trent, Ake, Militao, and Mendy. Let's have a look. Ooh, okay. Using that COVID chip. I haven't seen anyone use that card yet. Um, interesting. This is a nice team now with 30,000 coins left. I'll be honest with you, you don't need Trent for a link. I would get someone better than Trent. Um, with 30k, you can get Cancelo, you can get Pereira, you can get Carl Walker. Um, I think that you're probably better, better off with either of those three over Trent Alexander Arnold, but the rest of the team is great. I would just say wait until the next icon moments, uh, icon moments, icon swap, sorry, um, to upgrade this team because, you know, we're going to get icon swaps three in probably a few weeks. And when we do, we might get some really good center mids, some good center backs, some good strikers that might, you know, be a really good improvement to the squad. Uh, so until then, I would just save your coins uh, and, and work towards, uh, you know, getting some tokens when they come up because then you can maybe upgrade your right card or something like that. But no, I like this team a lot, actually. Um, I'm not sure about uh, Modric as a, as a central cam. It's one that, interests me a lot actually i see you've got dembele on the bench he'd be a pretty good one to bring on um but i'm not entirely sure about modric as a central cam but for chemistry reasons i see why you've got him uh and i see who you can bring on and by the way a lot of people get confused in the comments sometimes uh and say oh they've got this icon and that icon on the bench the icons you see on the bench 999 percent of the time are untradeable loans um and uh the reason you can't tell they're alone because ea put the loan at the bottom of the card this year so you actually can't see that they're alone but most of the time if someone's got like a ronaldo a messi or a icon a prime icon moment something like that on the bench it's probably alone because it's super easy to get loan icon packs this year anyway we're going on to nick's team who said hey man hope all is well uh love your work thank you very much bro i appreciate that here is my f2p team uh i'm i don't know what f2p means i think it's like i don't know but hey that's i Still a nice, it, I can already see it's a nice looking team. Uh, my only tradable is Kante, and I've got 1.3 million uh, coins liquid as well. Uh, what should I change? Let's bring in. If I, sh if I should bring in Crespo into my starting 11, and also should I play my Varane over Konate? Uh, thanks, keep the good work. Hey, thank you very much for the support, man. Well, this team is is lovely with 1.3 million coins left as well. It's, it's a very nice team. I would keep Varane over Konate. I think Varane's probably a bit better, um, and I like that you can, you can play Hazard here as well. Um, I'm sorry about not knowing what FT FTP means. Uh, yeah, I do apologize. Um, it's probably something really easy. I'm probably just being really stupid. Uh, in, for 1.3 million coins, what a change about this team. Honestly, you have the best players in each position pretty much. Um, with the coins, I would say just try and upgrade your Kante. Uh, if you sell him, you'll have, what, 1.4 million? You could get yourself like a Prime Makalele. You could get yourself a Prime Moments Keen. You could get yourself a... I think you can get yourself like a Prime Moments uh, Gattuso, although he doesn't look amazing. Uh, you can get yourself a Prime Petit. Uh, just to name a few players that you can get. Um, and I think that would be a pretty good improvement to the team. 
Um, the, for me personally, although Kante is such a great player in this game, uh, icons play way better than normal gold cards, I feel like. Um, so I feel like getting an icon in the team like that would be a really good addition to the team. Now, I do see also uh, what you mean. You can get Crespo in at centre mid and then get your, get your Canate in, but I think Varane's probably a bit better than Canate. Uh, give it another upgrade. I think Canate will be better, but uh, but for now, I think Varane's probably better to use there. Um, but yeah, this team's really nice. I like this team a lot, actually. Uh, I'm very impressed with the untradables you've got. It's a very, very nice team. Anyway, if I can click off it, please. Twitter? Twitter? Hello? There we go. Next one's coming from Javier, who says, Hey man, uh, the second team is what I use in game. The untradables are Kante, Sanchez, Zambrotta, Tellez, Courtois, and the bench. I've got 500,000 coins for upgrades. Keep up, this great, keep up the great stuff. Thank you very much, bro. I appreciate the support, dude. All right, let's check it out. Ooh, okay. All right, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Playing Lucas and Ikone's wide cams, Neymar central, Benyedder up top. It's a nice team. Very nice team, actually. Uh, I'm just thinking, if there's anything you can do, you've got 500k... What can you do here? I'm I'm thinking that maybe swapping out that Renato would be a good idea. And here is what I'm thinking you do. I'm thinking I'm just going to double check prices real quick. Because um, this is a card that I do like. And, uh, and not a lot of people use it. Uh, you can't afford it for 500k, unfortunately. Um, now, is that... Huh, okay. Um, I'm thinking you go with an icon as you're the CDM. Because although Renato is not bad... I don't think he's good enough, uh, and I think that you're better off with an icon CDM. So I'm just going to have a quick look for you on which, what kind of icons you can get here. Um, let's have a quick look on what we can what we can sort of what we can work with here. Uh, you can get Prime Roy Keane. This is a good card. Um, I, I you know the pace isn't great, but can be upped with a chem style. The rest of the cards are really good. It's a really aggressive CDM as well. Uh, gets stuck into challenges really easily, uh, and, and it's a good card. Um, so he's he's definitely a good option. Uh, Makalele, his 87 card, isn't a bad shout as well. He's very similar to Kante, though, in the sense that he's quite small, agile, um, but really good at tackling, great interception. So he could be a good shout as well if you want to if you want to play with Makalele. Um, if you want a big brute, then Rykard, I guess, but Rykard I don't think is very good. Um, so yeah, I would maybe I would maybe go with either Prime Keen or uh, Middle Makalele, and I would play him as your other CDM. Still gets full chemistry if you go with Makalele. Uh, however, if you go with if you go with Keen, um, I would move a Kone up to Cam and then put Keen as the middle centre mid, um, and that will get full chemistry as well. And I think that will be a good improvement to the squad. But apart from that, you have a really nice squad. I really like that a lot, mate. I really do. Uh, next one coming from Up the Argyle, who says, uh, "This is my team uh, before and in game. I've got two hundred thousand coins and only Son and Van Dijk are tradable. I'm opening to sell them and trying new formations. Also, this is my first work of glory. Keep the go good content, bro. I appreciate, it, man. First work of glory, and you got this team nice, dude. I I'm always impressed when I see you guys rocking road to glories and you got really nice teams. Uh, I'm not great at road to glories myself, so I mean, I'm always impressed when you guys uh, are doing well with them. What would I say with this team? Let me double check how many coins you got. Uh, you have two hundred thousand coins. I would say." Hmm. Hmm. I would say maybe upgrading this Pizjak. Now, 86 Pizjak is not bad. One card that I like the look of, uh, and I don't think anyone really uses him, is this Hatbar card. Uh, this card looks really good if you ask me. 123k, it's a little bit expensive, but it looks like a great right back. Uh, he's got 90 pace, 86 defending, 85 physical. Great physical, uh, great physical stats in game. If you were to use like a, a an anchor card in, for example, he goes to a 92 raid right back, which is a, a lovely looking card as well. Um, and I think that could be a great a great addition to the team. Uh, alternatively, if you really enjoy pitch check, obviously just just keep going with pitch check. But for me, uh, I think Hatbar could be a good uh, improvement to this team because everywhere else, I think you've got really solid players. So yeah, I think that could be a good improvement to the team. Uh, next one coming from uh, David Guevara, who says, uh, currently have 500,000 coins, tradable Semedo, Militao, Ronaldo, Messi, and Lodi. Willing to save? Any suggestions, please? Sure, let's check it out. Oh, okay. It's a nice team. I do, like I said, I apologize. I'm not. I'm really not feeling very well. So if, if my energy is really bad, I'm sorry. Um, what would I say with this team? Huh. Well, I think it's really hard to improve this team with 500k. Um, I think the only the only thing you can maybe do is is potentially upgrading Odegaard but even still that that card would take you a long time to grind to and uh I wouldn't say um improving him would be a priority because obviously it's still a good card uh I would just start saving now uh for cards that you're going to enjoy using in the future 
um you know you've got some sick players so yeah i just say start saving your coins and then when we get towards sort of the next promo or something maybe get a really cool shapeshifter that you can use or something like that uh then use them apart from that though the rest of the team is really nice i like that team a lot maybe getting to stegen over de gea might be a good shout uh i think to stegen the best goalie in this game so uh i would say maybe go for that uh, I had a couple of uh, uh, comments, by the way. I just, got to, I just want to quickly address this as well. In the last episode, uh, if you guys don't agree with my picks, that's totally fine. I, I totally understand that. You know, my opinion is not not um, gospel. You know. Um, however, I would really appreciate it if instead of instead of just calling me stupid or saying how bad my opinions are. If you could give people your opinions that might help them improve their squad, I think that would be really a lot better. Um, you know, I'm seeing a lot of comments where it's just, oh, this guy sucks, this guy doesn't know how to do this and that and the other. And, like, I totally understand. Uh, when it's one person's opinion versus the massive, uh, the masses, should I say, um, you know, we're bound to disagree on a few things. Um, but I'd really appreciate it. If instead, of, instead of just saying that my opinion sucks, you could, you know, leave a comment like, hey, Instead of upgrading to De Gea, uh, sorry, to, to Stegen, why don't you try Oblak? Or, you know, stuff like that, really, uh, would be really uh, great. I would really appreciate that. Um, and, and yeah, no, I, I appreciate all the feedback that you guys give, though. A lot of you guys are, uh, give some fantastic feedback, and I'm really grateful for it. Um, and I'm trying to improve my picks based on what you guys are saying. Uh, I really am trying to diversify who I choose for upgrades and stuff. I'm not trying to give out the same players over and over. Um, I think sometimes it can be difficult when teams are very similar this year because of the meta. But I'm really trying to help you guys out and give you guys more diverse picks. And I apologize if that in itself um, translates to you know poor poor feedback. Uh, I do apologize, but I'm, I'm doing my best. And uh, I would really appreciate if you guys help me out a little bit. Um, Anyway, moving to the next one, we've got Kyle's team who says, I play this formation in game. I've got 150k for upgrades and the only players are untradeable are Nesta, Gattuso, Decore. Love the vids, keep the good work. Thank you very much, man. Okay, let's check it out. So you've got a tradable Ian Wright. Um, I would say, let me double check your coin balance. 150,000 coins. You could sell Dembele and get a better right wing from the Prem. Uh, there is a few good options now. There never used to be, but there are. There is a few good options now that I, f I feel like. Um, let's go top five Premier League. Get rid of icons and get rid of the price range and go with 1,000 to 150,000. Fill by. Oops, that's that's rating. I do apologize. Uh, where is it? PlayStation. There we go. I need to get rid of this. And search. You can get the likes of Mo Salah, uh, 88 Mares. Um, you know, you can get Nicholas Pepe's Wants to Watch card. Uh, he's got an 86 rated uh, inform now, just to get his inform card as well. Uh, you know, there's a few decent options there you can go with, or in Adama Traore. Um, you know, that could, that could be a decent option for you. Uh, Apart from that, though, you've got pretty much like some of the best players in their positions, really. Um, personal preference, but you could get Kyle Walker over Aaron Wambasaka. I do love Wambasaka in real life, but on FIFA, I think Kyle Walker's better. Um, you know, you could you could do that. But aside from that, I think the rest of the team's really good. Uh, one th one gripe I do have is Gattuso, but I think that you know, like like I said earlier, with Icon Swaps three coming up soon, I think that you can just excuse me, you can just upgrade um, Gattuso to. A better icon when Icon Swap 3 comes out, really. Um, apart from that, I think the team's really good, mate. Jeez, the next one's got a massive paragraph, but let's do it. Let's get into it. Uh, it's from a Lionel Messi fan. Hi, hi, hey, uh, I can't even speak. Hi there. I've got 200,000 coins and I play a 4 triple 2 in game. Aguero, Raul, James, uh, Tomiyasu, uh, Alexandro, Pogba, Carvajal, Hierro, De Gea, and the whole bench are untradeable. I have untradeable Varan too, but I don't use him. Uh, might go for the third or fourth squad. Uh, thanks, keep with the good work. Let's check it out. Okay, I like that link between Medell and Tomiyasu. I think that's really cool. Um, so it's either it's either this, Dan James and Pogba, or you go with De Jong and Mares, or you go with this, which is also interesting, or you go with that. Hmm. I think it's between these two. I like this one the best. Yeah, I like I like this one the best personally. I think this is a sick squad. If you're gonna build any of those, I would build this one, mate. I like this squad a lot. 
Uh, I, I, you know, I think it'd be a great squad. In game, obviously, swap over um, your right and left centre backs. So the left, the left foot is on the left, and the right foot is on the right. Apart from that, though, I like this team a lot, uh, and it also gives you a bit of freedom. Instead of getting burnout, you could get somebody else at left at left back. Uh, you could get any Spaniard, or you could get a Premier League left back if you wanted to. Um, it allows you a bit of freedom there. Uh, I like the link between. Um, Condogbia and Vass, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, Kubo is a sick card, and Akunya is a great card as well. So I like this team a lot. I'd, I'd say go for this one, mate. I really would. It's a, it's a very nice team as, as well. And I think that uh, if you can afford it, eventually getting um, Winter Refresh uh, Florenzi over here at right back, as opposed to uh, Carvajal, would be a good shout too. But no, the team's really nice. I go with number four there for sure. All right, next team is from Harvey. He said, this is my team. Everyone's on trade apart from Decore and hudson Adoy. I've got 50,000 coins left to improve, but I'm willing to save up. I'm a Chelsea fan, so I'm thinking about getting Drogba to play a 4-3-3 one in game. Thoughts? Uh, well, I can say that my roommate, Brooksy, tried prime moments Drogba and absolutely loved the card. So I think he's a good card, and I think you'll enjoy him. Now, this team is really cool. I like this team a lot. I would say, yeah, I'd try to save up for for Drogba. Uh, one thing I'm a massive advocate is, uh, or for, sorry, is uh, is just using plays that you enjoy in real life. Um, a lot of people get really bored or don't enjoy playing with the meta players. Uh, one one thing that's always a nice breath of, breath of fresh air with FIFA is playing with plays that you just enjoy in real life. Um, you know, something I'm I'm doing at the minute is building a, a, a past and present like Man United squad, which I just think is going to be quite fun to use. Uh, and as a big Man United fan, I'm going to enjoy using the plays together and stuff. So I think that could be a good good idea is, is going for Drogba, maybe trying to get other Chelsea players in there. Maybe get yourself a Frank Lampard or a, a Michael Balak or something like that, you know, Shevchenko. Um, I think you'll enjoy it though. Uh, it's a nice squad. I like that hudson Doi card as well. That hudson Doi card looks sick. I haven't used it yet, but I do definitely want to use it. Um, and then we... Okay, Harvey posted three times. We've got Shoy here. I'm pretty sure Shoy made it into like the last episode, but hey, fair enough. Uh, pretty lucky, I guess. Um, 120,000 coins. I'm thinking of Haji and Cam, Ben Yedder up front, and Ikunya Shapeshifter CM. Uh, drop our uh, tradables, Laporte, Robbo, Cancelo, love the vids. Thank you very much, man. Um, I think, yeah, I think we did this last last episode, if I'm not mistaken. This exact this exact squad. Uh, thinking of Haji and Cam, Ben Yedder up front, Ikunya Shapeshifter in centre mid. Okay. Um, do you think Ikunya Shapeshifter card is going to be? Off chemistry, a lot better than that Awa card, though. That's the question. Um, you could also just get Haji at striker um, and keep everyone on camera apart from Mohamed Salah. Uh, I personally don't think a Gunya Shapeshift card is going to be head and shoulders above this Awa card. I think they play a lot differently, though. Um, that's just my opinion, though. Uh, I think that with the rest of the squad, it's a nice squad. Um, but yeah, it's, it's totally up to you about, about getting Haji at, at cam or not. Uh, I don't want to sit there and say, you know, get a Cunha or not, because I think getting a Cunha will put a few plays off chemistry and the balance of the squad might be a little bit off. Um, but that's just my opinion, really. But to take a few breaks in this video, this video is really hard to record. I'm not going to lie with all the likes on and stuff. Um, next one's from George. I've got 250k when I get my rewards on Thursday. All tradable except Ericsson, Alwa, Martinez. I've uh, bonded with Ericsson. Fair enough. Uh, and and Aurea. So any other suggestions would really help. By the way, love the videos. Thank you very much, bro. Uh, first things first. Hmm. Let me look. Okay. So I would say, hmm. What would be a good idea? How many coins you got? You're gonna have 250k. Uh, I like the Tottenham links. You know they're pretty cool. Um, just trying to think what you can do here, really. If there's any way you can get a full chemistry here. I don't think there is. I'll be honest with you. I don't want to sit there and tell you to change anyone in the squad. Because this squad is so delicate with chemistry and stuff. That the matter I tell you to change anyone. I was going to say uh, maybe get yourself um, uh, Winter Refresh Ake over Sanchez. But there's no point. Because that's going to mess up chemistry on everyone. Um, and I don't want to tell you to change anything. Because I feel like your chemistry is so... So uh, delicate right now. I would say just wait until Icon Tops 3 to see what you can do with that center mid Sissoko because uh, maybe we get a good CDM you can improve him with. Uh, apart from that, the rest of the team is nice though. I like the team a lot. The next team coming from Timo. Hi Haber, one picture is how I start and second picture is how I play in game. My intradables are Van der Sar, Smalling, Mkhitaryan, Tonali, Bernardo, Silva, Ikone. I've got 300,000 coins. I'm looking for new fullbacks uh, and I'm thinking of Renato Sanchez and Aaron's. What should I do differently? Let's check it out. Ooh, I like the links. Uh, that small card looks sick. Hmm. 
have a look. What are we saying here? This team looks really good in game. I like the team a lot, actually. Um, I would say. Huh. Tricky one, really. Um, realistically, I don't. I mean, Veron's a weak link here, but double check how many coins you got. 300k. You haven't really got enough coins to improve him dramatically, I feel like. Um, you could maybe go with someone from the City A, yeah? potentially. Uh, I'm just trying to think what we have from the City A yeah? that you can that you can go with, maybe. Um, let me check who you're playing where. You play McTyne up front. No, you're not. You're playing a cone up top. Um, hmm. I mean, let me have a look at. Let me let me have a look at players from the city uh, that are that means CDMs cams top five city. Uh, check it out. Huh. I'm just trying to find. I'm trying to find players that will get chemistry. That's why I'm scrolling over a lot of good ones. You can play Alan off chem. Alan's a really good card. Uh, I'm a big fan of Alan this year. You could play him off chem at left cam. Um, you know, I don't think chemistry will affect it too much either because he's he's a really good player. Um, but I just think that upgrading Veron is definitely something you want to do. The rest of the team, though, I'm a big fan of the rest of the team. I think you've got great players in their positions. So I'd say, I'd say, yeah, just maybe go with go with Alan over Veron. Uh, yeah. Get the best version of Alan you can get, really. I'm going to end it on this team because I can't carry on going. I'm so sorry if this episode's really short, uh, but this is just one that I'm, I'm really struggling to record right now, so I do apologise. Uh, but this is the last team. It's going to be, Hi, Haber. I've got 300,000 coins, and I play the second in-game, all untradeable, including the bench, apart from Mahrez and Wambazaka, and I'm saving to upgrade Martial to Neymar uh, or his UEL road to the final. Love the, love the vids. Keep the good work. All the way from Nigeria. Hey, thank you for the support, man. Let's check it out. Oh, okay. I like this team. Uh, I would say, I would say, yeah, get Neymar uh, when you can. Save it for Neymar over Martial. I'd also maybe, um, you know, I know this card, this this card's untradeable. You could maybe go with if he doesn't get an upgrade, uh, Juan Jesus's UCL card or UEL card would be a good shout. He'll get an upgrade uh, if the other one doesn't. Um, but obviously, if if uh, Diego Carlos gets an upgrade, then keep him. Um, but the rest of the team's solid, really solid work. I like this team a lot. It's a sick team. But that's it for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for watching and thank you all for the support. I'll see you lads later.